Welcome back. The best in baseball are now battling it out with the hopes of making it to the Fall Classic. And yeah, this morning, our resident historian is stepping up to the plate to tell us more about Alaska's role in America's national pastime. Author Laurel Downing Bill joins us back on the couch for story time with Aunt Phil. Good morning, Laurel. Good morning, Megan and James. Yeah, baseball's been a favorite pastime of Alaskans for generations. So with the baseball season coming to a close now, with World Series coming up, I thought it would be a good time to talk about how baseball started in Anchorage. So where do we begin? Well, gosh, as early as 1915, before the uh, city had even become a city or plotted its main street on 4th Avenue, they had people that were playing ball down in the mud flats. And then as early as 1916, we had a regulation baseball diamond down on the railroad uh, yards. It was built by the bridge engineers and was about a little bit north of Ship Creek. So we now have our phones and internet and all this good stuff and radio. How did the fans back in the day keep up with the action there? There was a press box with communication directly to the newspaper, so fans were provided with a play-by-play -play of the action going on. And competition was keen. And it wasn't just in Anchorage, also in Kinnick and Seward. In fact, oftentimes, Anchorage residents would take a boat over to Kern Creek, and they would get onto then a hand car and hand pump themselves all the way down to Seward to catch a glimpse of the action. Oh my That's gosh, dedication. that is. Now, it wouldn't take long for a war to have an impact on baseball in Alaska. That's right. The clouds of war did eclipse baseball in World War I when Anchorage lost many of its able-bodied men. In fact, 75% of the male population was eligible for the draft. But the town did manage to get up enough players to play a 1918 game with the Masons versus the um, Elks. And it was a kind of lopsided game. The Masons took it 19 to 9. But they did manage to raise $57.60 for the American Red Cross benefit. It's probably a nice chunk of change back then. <laughs> yeah. Right? Well worth it. So what or who would it take to really get the game going again? Oh, the game really picked up when a man by the name of William F. Mulcahy blew into the lusty railroad town. He was an auditor for the railroad, and he loved baseball. So he soon became the president of the baseball league, as well as its secretary, treasurer, groundskeeper, and ticket taker. And then in 1947, Mulcahy was named for Alaska's first National Baseball Congress commissioner. And that's the program that led to our Anchorage Glacier Pilots and the Bucks taking uh, several national championships. A baseball pioneer for sure, Mulcahy, that, that name rings a bell. Now his legacy definitely lives on. Yes, right now. it does. 1951, the selfless Irishman was very surprised when the community honored him by naming its new ball field, the Mulcahy Stadium, located at C and 7th. And um, that stadium seated 750 people, which was half again as big as the downtown stadium had been. And now eventually some big lead leaguers, I should say, would leave their mark in the last frontier, some World Series champions even. That's right. After statehood, we started seeing a lot of collegiate players coming up and playing on our ball field, and some of them did go on to the major leagues, including home run king Mark McGuire. You had that pitching phenom Randy Johnson, who was called the big unit, played for the Arizona Diamondbacks, as well as Hall of Famer Tom Seaver. Um, so who knows what big leaguers we're going to be seeing in the future on our Mulcahy Stadium. But until the boys of summer return next year, we do have the uh, World Series that we can look forward to to keep our attention in baseball. Randy Johnson, he beat my Yankees back in 2001. Oh, man. I soon will not forget. We hold on to those losses just as, just as much as you hold on to the wins. Some great stuff this morning, Laurel. Thank you so much. We'll see you back on the couch next week. Thanks, guys.